Thousands of the country's most vulnerable people face being left without essential services from the middle of next month because of strike action by those working in community and voluntary organisations funded by the state. Employees in the sector, including at Enable Ireland and the Irish Wheelchair Association, will stop work indefinitely from the 17th of October in a dispute over pay. The government said a recent offer to increase funding for pay was rejected by unions. Around 20 organisations across the country will be hit by this strike action, groups that provide vital services to people with disabilities, vulnerable children, families facing homelessness and older people. Workers from the community and voluntary sector, alongside their union representatives, gathered outside Leinster House today to announce the indefinite strike action, which will begin from the 17th of October. Around 5,000 workers will take to the picket lines from organisations including the Irish Wheelchair Association and Enable Ireland. Strike is always the last port of call that we have. It's not something that we're willingly choosing to do. It's something that our hand has been forced to do. We've asked the government to come to the table with us in good faith and they have refused to do so. We're looking for equal pay. So we're a Section 39 organisation. So we were good enough to take the cuts when the financial crisis happened. Um, we were good enough to get equal pay before then. Fair play. When do we want it? Now! There was a series of one-day strikes last year at organisations like the Irish Wheelchair Association over the issue of pay, but unions are warning that the problems still have not been resolved. They say health and social care workers in agencies funded by the HSE are paid significantly less than equivalent staff employed directly by the state. Before the economic crash, they received the same pay as their public service peers. That was broken and we're still trying to play catch up. We estimate they're about 10 or more percent behind. So we need to see that link restored. We need to see pay parity and fairness restored. The Department of Health said today that a recent offer to increase funding for pay by 5% was rejected by unions, even though a similar deal was accepted by community and voluntary workers in other sectors. The department is also pointing out that because the organisations impacted by this dispute are privately owned, the government is not the employer. The agencies involved and unions are being urged to put contingency plans in place to keep disruption to a minimum.